Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In today's video, we're going to look at overriding external table parameters, which was introduced in Oracle 12.2, and inline external tables, which were introduced in Oracle 18c. If you need some basic information on external tables, there's a previous video on that subject. We'll start by creating a directory object pointing to the location of our files and make sure the test user can access it. We create a regular external table using the directory object we just created. We've specified that our files are going to be in the CSV format and we've listed the files in the location. Let's check the contents of the external table. We use this group by query to identify how many rows there are for each country code and we can see that there are 2000 for each country code represented. This query uses external modify to dynamically override the location parameter of the external table. As a result, we only see the data for the files that were read. Oracle 18c takes this a step further. What we have here is effectively the whole of the external table definition in the query. There's no reference to any previously created external table here. Notice the location definition. This is accessing all the files. When we run the query, it reacts just like a regular external table. Instead of modifying external table parameters, we can just change the query. In this example, the location only references two files. As a result, we only see the data for one country. Thanks for watching. As always, links to articles on this functionality are in the description below.